Good morning everybody. I know I've said it quite a few times, but this new work schedule is kicking my butt. I have to get up super early to get anything done in time for me to go to work. So I have one last seat to put in the Humvee. It's the driver's seat and it is the most pain in the butt seat to get to the bolts. So let's get at it. Yeah, not a morning person, but the power of Black Rifle compels me. Let's get at it. Problem is, this is my brother's house, and the Humvee would fit into the garage if his truck weren't here, and I don't have keys to his truck to move it. So, we're going to get the Humvee as close to the house as possible, maybe get it out of the snow. So the hardest part about getting this seat out is you have to reach way back in there to get to the bolts and it's not super easy so I guess let's not waste any time let's get to it. I want some of those ratcheting wrenches you know they have the little built-in ratchet thing that's what I should have asked for for Christmas because there's not enough space to get uh, a ratchet in here. Won't fit a socket, so we're doing it the slow way. Good news guys, I found that my brother did, in fact, have some of those ratcheting ones, which in this case, absolute, absolute lifesaver because yeah, I got an arm cramp sti sticking it clear back in there. Got all the bolts off. Please let this release. Okay. So, here's the plate we're looking at. You can see, you can see how skinny this is to get your arm in there. And it only gets skinnier as it moves back. So there's not much room to do that. But yeah, it looks pretty straightforward for bolting this in, I mean as far as the seat that I'm dealing with. I think these are Smitty built seats that I got. They might be best top, I'm not sure. They're pretty similar though, but that one sh looks like it should be easy. In a little bit I'm going to show you guys the brackets for the other side that were already on here that need a little modification. I might show you guys today, I don't know if I can do it in the snow and not ruin the camera, but I'm going to go grab the other seat. Throw it in and start cranking that on. <sighs> Cause I gotta work today, so I gotta get this done. Winter sucks. So as you can see, these seats here have holes drilled for various mounting applications. The bolts are in there. So this one should just drop in because 
These are the ones that my buddy gave me and he already had them in a Humvee so these ones should be easy. The other ones I didn't get a chance to look underneath but they've got some custom built brackets that latch into your, your seat storage and in the back there's a little piece of metal that's supposed to sit into the groove that your normal seat trays would. And those ones seem a little bit off. I'm hoping maybe I can just adjust the holes that they're set in so they'll sit back in a little bit farther because right now they're not going all the way under that little notch in the backs that they are supposed to go in. So I'm gonna throw this in, uh, get another arm cramp, wrist cramp. Hopefully it goes in smooth. Why can't things be easy? Where the bolt holes, where the bolts sit, is outside the plate that the stock Humvee seat bolts into. So the holes are too wide, which means I'm gonna have to make a custom bracket. Why can't these things be easy? Well, that means I'm not driving the Humvee to work today because I'm not bolting this stock seat back in just to have to take it out later. <laughs> we'll probably just get a piece of steel, mark where the bolts need to go, and it should work out, but that's where I'm at so far with it. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to show you guys. I'm not even sure which door to show you the best way. I think we'll try this one. So these seats, the back one's worked out fine, but this front one, uh, this, this light, let me see if I can adjust this. These have these little prongs built into the back that don't reach under this little lip that you guys can't see. But you can, yeah, see that? You can see that, maybe you can see. Anyway, they bounce around quite a bit. Let me bump up this and see if we can make that work. So there's a lot of movement there. I'm hoping that you can either scoot these brackets back or we might have to make some new ones there. You know what? I think that might actually fit under that lip if I pull the seat out, wedge it back in and then latch it down. I think that might work, but yeah. These are in there really solid. Um, the way these were built, I, I can't, <laughs> I'm trying to give you guys that want to upgrade to these advice, but these seats were already customized prior to me getting them. And so they've already had pieces put onto them. So you're not gonna have that. So you might want to keep the plate. I didn't have, I didn't have to keep the plate under here. These actually had these little pieces right here made to bolt onto the seat and then a little groove was put to latch in there and in the back had another one of those little tongue pieces that sits back into the back so if you wanted to fabricate some of those little pieces you won't need your plate but I would start out trying to use your seat plate might be the easiest option just drill holes throw some bolts in should be quick and easy but these front ones seem like they're if you don't use the plate, actually, I forgot to mention that. On this front one, you do want to keep your plate here because if you don't, there's a big hole here that goes straight into your battery and you'll get crap down in there. But these, this is what these front brackets look like that were on here already. Just bolts in, curves, and then it's got this little slot here that latches. Oh, my son's leaving his toys in here. But yeah, sorry you can't see these back tongues a little bit better. Um, when it's not snowing, I'll pull those out and show you a little bit more. But I think I'm going to pull those out, slide that back in, and relatch that. Because you can see there's already a gap there that shows it needs a scoot back anyway. So um, that's, that's all I got for you guys today. Unless I go decide to do donuts in the snow, which time is it? Let's see. I don't even have my watch on. If I have time, I'm gonna go do some donuts in the Humvee. If not, this is the end of the video. So, <laughs> thanks for joining me, guys. I will catch you next time. If you have any other 
Humvee questions that I might be able to answer. I'm definitely not a pro, but I do have access to a whole network of people that n actually know what they're doing. Um, shout out to all you guys in the Humvee owners group on Facebook. You guys have been invaluable tool to me with all my stupid questions. And thank you for putting up with those, by the way. Um, yeah, I think we need to do donuts, so. If I have time before work, we're gonna go do donuts. Catch you guys next time. Bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling.